Welcome to day four. Think of a time you were negatively affected by dishonorable speech. For instance, someone telling lies or gossiping about you. Think of a time someone you care about was negatively affected by dishonorable speech. Try to use these feelings as motivation for not doing that to someone else. To further help you avoid speaking dishonorably, become aware of why you may do it. Watch the 10 Common Reasons People Speak Dishonorably video or read my blog post on it and identify your top two or three favorite reasons to speak dishonorably. Then try to come up with healthier ways to satisfy those desires. For instance, if you really enjoy negatively bonding with people, are there more positive ways you could connect with others, such as by giving people sincere compliments? If you like to feel excited in stirring things up with your dishonorable speech, can you find other ways to get excited, such as by getting excited about how your words could have a positive impact on others? Also, continue your dishonorable speech log. You're going to use it tomorrow.